Hey guys, uh, thank you for uh, clicking on the video. Uh, click off. It's not gonna be, <laughs> no. dude. I don't know how to start. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm not very good at this. Here's your job. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Swoosh. This is Brody. Today we're gonna be talking about things because we haven't done it in a while. Me and Brody were boys back then. Now we're now we're men. Yeah. Okay, did you guys hear what we just what we just witnessed today? Okay, that was <laughs> awkward, and that's gonna be the subject of today's video: awkward <laughs> stories. Basically, back in November, um, I visited Texas because my family was there. There was a little guy who was also there named Nicholas Cantu, our mutual friend, who's also Leonardo. You know, you know that guy. You know him. I don't know him. Nick's movie had just come out, and he was doing a screening of it. He was like, "Hey, buddy, since you're in town, you want to come?" And I was like, "Sure thing, little guy." So like me and my cousin and my aunt and uncle, we all like go down there. And Nick brought like his two childhood friends that were both girls. So after, <laughs> after the movie, they were chatting with my cousin who grew up around the neighborhood and they're like talking about like high school and they're like, oh yeah, I graduated in 2020. And then a flicker happens in my mind. I'm like, hey, I graduated in 2020. This is gonna be a great conversation starter. And I go, ah, 2020, the COVID year. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, literally, <laughs> nothing happened. I am dunked. <laughs> I was just standing there like, okay, this is the worst ever. I come in with the reload. They said something again like, that was born in 2002, and I was like, um, 2002, gang. <laughs> <laughs> 2002 gang and you like hold out your fist and no one fist bumps you. <laughs> I never talked to the girls again so that was yeah. uh, that was rough you actually haven't talked to a girl since so. yeah dude okay I'm not putting that that's true but I'm not putting that in the video I have this one story that I completely forgot about until you asked me about awkward stories and I was like oh my god I have like the world's most awkward story ever so for the last few months I've been in musical theater at my school I was oh like boy. I want to do it before I graduate I'm just gonna join the musical and I'm gonna sing a silly song something important for the story is that over the last few years i've developed this silky smooth deep voice that you guys hear today it's not true i hate and it it's so, so ugly. Oh, oh okay well you're being mean so <laughs> i get like one of the kind of lead characters and i have a song my character and the way that i myself sing i belt it i, I sing very loud and, and and in this song it's really pushing my voice right so it's going really high so I, i'm up on my song and it goes a little bit like this in front of everyone you can't back down <laughs> that, like, it's like the world's <laughs> worst voice crack i've ever had oh, no, in my no. life one time i was uh i was walking snacks r.i.p i think I, I had to be like 12. it was like at night and snacks like pooped in that like little lawn strip that's like right next to the sidewalk like you know like the freaking <laughs> that's the pooping lawn snacks like poops and i just like keep walking i just like hear like hey, you gotta pick that up and i look to my right and it's like <laughs> it's like these two old ladies just like smoking and like on their porch at night and i'm just like oh yeah yeah but i didn't bring any bags so i just picked oh, it up with my like, hand and i no! threw it no! I, I threw it in the street. I was like, oh, yeah. I picked no, it up. no, no, no. Stop, bro. Dude, I was stop, like a stop. kid. Oh, like, I don't know. Right. Did you? Uh, you actually did that? Yeah, yeah. That was, oh, my God. oh, my bro, God. Bro, I was like Dude. 12, man. Like, what do you want that from me? That doesn't matter. You, you picked up your dog's poop with your hand. I, 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 I did uh, can we just <clears throat> can we, uh, can we move on? It's not near. You're not making a lot of excuses for yourself. Back in April, me and Brody and some other friends all met up, and the first thing that we decided to do after like unpacking at the Airbnb was go to this like chicken restaurant in Texas. Oh my god! So we're like all. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the first time that we're all doing. Like, oh, okay, let me tell a story, Brody. I know where this one's going. I'm looking at this menu, and there's like 10 different levels of like hotness for like these chicken sandwiches. And I'm like, hmm, I should get the hottest one they have. And Mitch is like, dude, you really don't want to like get the hottest one. Like, that's not a good idea. And I'm like, you know what? You're right, Mitch. And I just go down a level under it, and it was called <laughs> Cluckin' Hot. And, I, and then Mitch is like, dude, that, that's seriously not a good idea. And I was like, dude, don't worry about it. Like, it's. D no, you know what you out. said? You said, mm, I've had hotter. Dude. <laughs> and then the thing is, the thing is, I got the same sandwich, but I got it a level below Nathan. And before he took a bite of his, I took a bite of mine and I was like, oh no. <laughs> 
As I'm eating the cluckin' hot sandwich, everyone's looking over me like, oh my god, are you okay? And I'm like, it's not that bad. Like, I've had otter, <laughs> okay? I've had otter. I'm like halfway through my sandwich, and then I'm like, man, this is <clears throat> it's getting really hot in here. And then like, my entire mouth was just completely on fire, and I was dying. And everyone's like, are you okay? And I'm like, hey, give me your water! <laughs> <laughs> like, am, everyone's drinks at the table. He's just scooping them up. <laughs> it was horrible. And then Mitch is like, wow, I, I, if only someone told you not to get it. Oh, wait, I did. And I was like, look, man. I, I literally remember, like, getting back to the Airbnb and, like, you go to the bathroom. We're all sitting on the couch. And I was like, dude, he's clucking up that toilet in there. <laughs> You know what else I remember from that day, dude? I remember Nathan and Nick decided to go wait at McDonald's by the airport. Nathan walks in there and like, oh my God, this place <laughs> looks familiar. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Dude, this is Ryan Trahan's McDonald's. He went here in a YouTube short. This, oh my God. This is the worst day. Okay, hold on. Let me explain Nerd. myself. Ryan Trahan is like my favorite YouTuber ever, okay? And I don't have favorite YouTubers, okay? So he's special. You don't have favorite YouTuber? What? <sighs> Brody's my second. For the love of God, can we move on now? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so I walked into this McDonald's and obviously like we're in Austin, Texas. I'm like, hey, Ryan Trahan lives in Austin, Texas. And I'm why just is like- that, Why is that your first thought? When I don't know, okay? Video? We're in this McDonald's for like two hours because Brody's plane was late or something. And I just like decided to check my phone and check this YouTube short that Ryan Trahan made. And it's like at a McDonald's. And I'm like, Nick, look at that painting. It's the same as in this video. I like put on my glasses in the short, like a server's in it. And he's like, like, oh, that's the girl that served me my water. And like my entire world exploded. I was like, oh my gosh. The entire trip we made fun of him. We were like, it, like and tell me once everyone knew we were like, I wonder if Ryan's here. And I was like, hey, don't get my hopes up. Like <laughs> <laughs> one time I went on a date with a girl and like, what? um, I didn't tell her that like I was a YouTuber. We're talking about what she goes to college for. And she's like, oh, like, what do you do? And I go, oh, I'm, I'm not in college. She's like, oh, well, what, like, what do you do with your time? I'm like, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm make YouTube videos. We got ice cream and I was like, um, I'll handle this. And she's like, oh, with all your YouTube money? And I was like, this is the worst. I shouldn't have told you anything. What are we doing here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, do you remember when the first thing we did when we were hanging out with Bryson in our meetup, Brody and his wife brought their dog over and like their dog and Bo were just like, tr like trying to kill each other. Bo just like threw up all over the floor. And we were like, <laughs> oh my, what the? Bo just like freezes and then goes, Bleh. Yeah, I was like, Bleh. When we were in Texas, Nick started doing this thing where he'd like hold out his fist for a fist bump and then just go jellyfish and like just do this <laughs> weird like hand movement. He'd be like, dude, I'm sorry. And like go for a hug and just go a bigger jellyfish. And it became like the Texas staple thing that we would do. The entire trip, we were just fist bumping each other every single day. And just on occasion, you'll get a little jellyfish. <laughs> oh, come on, come here. A bigger jellyfish. And it's my favorite thing to do in the world. I love doing the jellyfish now. Yeah. And I came home and I yep. tried to do it to like my friends and just just did not land at all. I'd be like, oh, jellyfish. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. One of the first things I did when I got back home was like go to my friend Sam's house and I like go and say hi to his family. I'm like, Sam, buddy, put her there, jellyfish. <laughs> you know what messed me up about being in Texas? Restaurants taking my debit card to pay. Cause like in Canada, that never happens. Like if someone takes your debit card, you chase after them. <laughs> But like, they, they just take it to the till. That's so weird. How is that weird? What do you mean? In Canada, they bring the little debit machine to you and you pay. Well, like the longest extension cord known to man. Like what? No, no, it's wireless, nub nuts. Uh, <laughs> That was uncalled for. One night, we had just started watching Fantastic Mr. Fox and we're like 30 minutes in and I'm like, bro, I'm so tired. So I go to like lay down on my bed for a little bit and I just pass out, but my door is like still wide open and I wake up to everybody just dying of laughter and I'm like, Whoa! <laughs> I like tumble out the door. I'm like, Whoa! and it's like Alvin in the Chipmunks, like the live action movie. <laughs> It's because it's the part where Ian holds up like the fake Alvin plush and he's like, take a look at this. <laughs> so we had three rooms in our Airbnb. Two of them had like little beds and one had a big bed and there's four of us. And Brody like goes in the queen size bedroom and he's like, um, this one's mine. I'm like, no, it is not, dude. <laughs> so me and Nick ended up just sharing like the bed. Every night, everyone would go to bed. It'd be like two in the morning. And I'd look at him and be like, you want to watch Seinfeld? And he's like, yeah. So we would just like watch Seinfeld like an old married couple in bed, like just go fall. And then, like, ultimately, they want to go fine. You fine together, dude. That was a knee slapper. I chortled. <laughs> I chortled. <laughs>
Well, Brody, thanks for joining me on this journey through our awkward little stories. I appreciate your time. Dude, it's been an honor walking through this mental journey side by side together. Yeah, together. Hey, put her there. Jellyfish! <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, dude. Okay, right, bring it in, though. Bring it in, Hey, bro. bring it in. Bring, bring it in, jellyfish! jellyfish. <laughs> Oh, I had like an excessive amount of like chips and queso when we were down in Texas. I feel like every single place that served it, I was like, um, one order of chips and queso, please. That's crazy, dude. Wow. That's so crazy. Fine. Man. I'll cut it out of the video. Fine. <laughs> You're evil. Like, no, keep it in. I want him to hear it. <laughs>